three videos in one day, that's pushing it. Well, unfortunately, uh, I didn't realize that this package came in the mail. Um, I thought it was from China, but it says the return address is in Mississauga, Ontario, which is really weird. I'm pretty certain this came from China, but anyways, I wanted to show that. Um, I also markered the crap out of it, um, out of paranoia. So I got nothing else to do because uh, I decided to try and convert all of my family video files uh, down to DiviX, so it takes forever. Alright, what are these? <laughs> look at this. So it came in this bag, and look what it came with. They put the boxes in with it too. So you could like repackage and like sell them. So these are E27, so that's standard North American uh, screw light bulbs. So everyone has them in their houses. Almost every light bulb in North America in a house is E27. E27, E26, they're almost identical. So it's 9 watts AC or DC 12 to 24 volts. Now the reason why they say that is because there's a, inside of here, there's a full wave rectifier. Usually actually there's only a half wave rectifier. They cheap out the two the two diodes they add up when you're making hundreds of thousands of units. So they just do a half wave rectifier and the capacitor. So that's why it can handle AC and DC voltage. Just rectifies it. And warm white. Um, no information. <laughs> I'm not even joking, there's no information on these damn light bulbs. Um, I couldn't find it. Don't even know uh, who manufactures them. Maybe it says right here. Nope. Nothing. Nothing at all. Sketchy. It's got the green cap. I, uh, I would see that in chicken barns, the LED lights would have this green cap on them. Um, other than that, I don't think I've seen any others, although I know they exist. So, to prove to you that it does fit, see, look, I took out one of the, my incandescent, my old school light bulbs, and voila, she plugs in. But if I turned it on, it would blow up, because 120 volts AC rectified to DC equals like 150, 160 volts, 130 volts DC would blow up the whole thing, destroy it. That's the only, uh, but it's nice because it's universal, right? So you can just buy cheap parts from Home Depot, etc. Really cheap parts, lights, normal light switches, normal stuff, and then build your own house wiring in your own house. Um, technically it might be considered illegal, but don't care. The other power supply developed a phobia of being experimented with, so. Alright, I dropped it all the way down, so um, I'm using this power supply, but it only does between 31 and 42 volts, which is way too high. So we have this buck converter, and it'll drop it down. So right now we're at 5.6, 5.7 volts, and it's wired here. We're going to be measuring amperage here. So this is going to be a little tricky, you're just going to have to bear with me on this. Uh, this is just an initial impression, so let's see when it starts to... There we go. Okay. So let's say it turns on at 7.9. Not bad. That's actually very surprising. Alright, so brightness, um, it is far more bright on the camera than it is... Right now, it's a very faint glow. It's about, um, like, glow-in-the-dark plastic... That's what it looks like right now to me. Alright, so that's probably the next stage of brightness. It's not bad. It's like dim. That's much brighter. Like I said, in uh, in the camera, it looks like ten times brighter than it actually is. So there we go. Alright, so what are we at? We're at 8 volts. We're only at 8 volts and we're at this level of brightness. Very good. And we're only consuming 68 milliamps. Very impressive. All right. See, that's that's bright. Like, you don't want to directly look at it at this point, but it's not going to hurt your eyes. That's next stage. That definitely hurts your eyes. 
we are consuming 250-ish milliamps. Very good. We are at 9.5 volts. This is extremely impressive at low voltage. All right, that, that definitely hurts the eyes a great deal. Looking at, yep, yeah, right away, seconds in. So 0.6 amps, 10.8. Let's see if we uh, drop the amperage, what happens to the brightness. It's turned red, still no change. I'm gonna try and dial it all the way down. There we go, okay, we're getting measurable. All right, so all right, right away. Okay, brightness, okay, it's flickering. So you can't see it very well or at all, but it's flickering. That's very interesting. So that's the dirty signal coming from this guy right here. That's, um, that's good. All right, so we've got a very mild flickering. So let's see. That's like okay brightness. Point set, well, 160, that's okay. Yeah, very blinding. Okay, that's that's cool. Let's see how far it'll go. We're gonna go all the way, guys. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I feel like it's pretty much tapered off. 26, 27, 28. I'm gonna go to 36. Fuck it. I'll blow it up. Alright, what do we got? Is it... 35, we are consuming 0 0.2, oh, that's neat, look at that, 0.27 amps at 35 volts, that is awesome, this thing is, it's using the high voltage, so it doesn't require as much am amperage, that is actually pretty good, alright, 36, 37, is it going to go down any further, nope, 260, Okay, that's that's I'm I'm maxed out on there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We're gonna have to go to the source, people. Actually, let's do a current drop first. Let's see what happens. Thirty six point seven at two hundred and sixty five milliamps. Oh, that was quick. That was a very okay. Dead. Alright, um, not as much flickering at this high voltage, probably the capacitors inside the light bulb. Um, very bright, there's a ton of brightness, uh, for, for 900, uh, lux, this is a lot more than, uh, most LED lights, to be honest. Alright, we're at 260 already. What's a steep drop? Oh, that's neat. It just... Oh, neat. Did you see that? Let's do that again. Did you see that? It has a um, switch over function. Okay. Watch this. 400. 500. 600. 700, 800, boom, drops right down to 265. That is so smart. Boom. 400. So there is actually good electronics inside these light bulbs. These light bulbs are actually worth their overpriced um, tag. Um, I never even said how much I paid for these things. On um, my previous video I did just so. okay, it was twenty six dollars for four of them, so twenty six divided by four. So like somewhere around six point five uh dollars Canadian per unit. Um in American money you just times that number well you just subtract um twenty seven percent, twenty five to twenty seven percent of that, which is uh, it's like $4.9, so $5 a light bulb, American, or like six fifty Canadian per light bulb. Um, heat buildup is not bad at all. 
Okay, that's that's not bad for for 650. I'm I'd be willing to pay 650 a light bulb for this kind of uh, quality electronics. Um, I'm very impressed that it can actually sense the uh, current. Um, it's it's no dummy. Let's see if we can jack this shit up. See, we're at 36.7. Fuck. Alright. What the hell? I think we're maxed right out. It will not let me go any higher. Unless. Okay, I hope this works without blowing shit up. Alright, so all I did is I just tied directly into the main power supply. Then I brought this thing over and I tested it out. Uh, a normal dimmer switch, like these dial ones here, it does not work with this circuit. Even at high voltages, um, no reason. And it even, something inside here broke. Like, it works perfectly fine with uh, normal light bulbs and being plugged into a wall outlet. But uh, it will not work. It it was working for a little bit, but it wouldn't dim at all. And then it suddenly just stopped working altogether. So there's something inside these um, light switch dimmers that I don't fully understand. So no, you can't uh, you can't use a normal dimmer switch. You'd have to use one of these, which is only seven dollars to control the dimming of your lights and. You can do it in two different ways, one with voltage and one with uh, current. So that would be pretty cool uh, for your house. And these things are so small, they can fit inside, um, you know, within reason, they can fit inside of uh, a two-gang box, a uh, light switch box, you know, like a two-light switch one. I'm sure we could, I'm sure I could figure something out, but it's, it's pretty cool, it's very promising. So, anyways, we're at, uh, 30, 32 volts-ish, and, uh, point, well, point three, so 300, uh, milliamps, so we're gonna, we're gonna crank it up to 41, um, I've already done this once, uh, it can handle up to 42 volts. But uh, none of it saved, so all of my excitement and happiness just uh, isn't going to be recorded this time, I'm sorry. So we're at 33, 34, can't see with that guy in the way, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41... 42, 42.2. All right, so it just dropped slightly in amperage, and that's about it. And it stayed at the same brightness. Uh, it can more than handle. It can more than handle up to 42 volts. No problem. See, we're running at 42 volts. We're going straight off the power supply. We're not even going through the buck, buck converter. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool, but it doesn't work with a dimmer switch. Oh well. But uh, the rest of it's fine, seven bucks. Actually, this CCCV is cheaper than the dimmer switch, possibly. Um, so, <laughs> that's, that's fucked up, guys. <laughs> 35, 34, we'll see what happens. 30, 28, 26, 25, 24, see, look at that, 21, 400, 17, 13, 10, now it's starting to actually get, I'm thinking right here, yeah, this would make sense. I'd say right here, so at 12 volts, 12.6 volts, and anything below 12.6 volts, yeah, we immediately start to see, especially at 11, 10, yeah, now it's just the glow, 7, 6, yeah. 
Alright, I hope you liked the video. Um, that was a very fascinating first look at a 24 volt DC light bulb. Well, it's AC DC, but yeah, that's awesome. It can handle up to 42 volts. That's crazy. And uh, no 24 volt system, even with the solar panels, goes past that. Like 36 volts is the most that the solar panels should be going at. So you could run these light bulbs straight off a solar panel with no batteries or capacitors. Anyways, I hope you like that. Um, I'll link in the description the eBay connection that I got this from. So, uh, Like, comment, subscribe, please. Uh, if you found this interesting, if you think these might be good for you, please let me know. I, I think they are worth their money, to be honest. So have a good day. Bye.